Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say for all the new subscribers that are joining my channel or that have joined my channel, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them with a phone number or an email or anything like that, please be aware those are scammers. That is not me. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me, so please be careful. All right, let's get started, spirit angels and guides. Please show me the energy of the connection between Scorpio and their person. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. We also have here the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Death card, Judgment, Eight of Wands, and Knight of Swords. Energy of the Connection, let me see. Three of Swords, Page of Swords, Death, Judgment, Eight of Wands. Well, there's a lot of like tension here, I feel. Um, a lot of unspoken words. Or a lot of hurtful words that were spoken. A lot of unresolved conflict, I want to say also, unresolved issues. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, definitely. Seven of Wands. This looks like some sort of big argument or disagreement. You two are definitely not seeing eye to eye with each other. You're not on, you're not on the same page with each other. Um, there's some sort of clashing of energies here. Page of Swords. Somebody is spying here with the Page of Swords. Someone is feeling disappointment, disappointed and heartbroken, or I want to say even betrayed. Someone feels betrayed. What is that Three of Swords? Let me just clarify that. What's going on with the Three of Swords spirit? The Emperor, yeah, like someone feels like bitter or like betrayed and the six of swords there's a blaming energy here somebody somebody's heavily blaming the other person somebody might have gotten blocked also with the seven of wands block communication well geez but this is interesting, though, because the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, it's a little bit of a rebellious energy. Someone is being rebellious here in some way. And I also feel like someone is trying to stir the pot, you know? Someone is kind of trying to, like, perpetuate conflict here or perpetuate tension out of 
because of their ego, out of resentment or out of spitefulness also. I feel like someone's being kind of spiteful. All right, let's take a look at the individual energies, see what's going on here. Starting with your person. Do I want to start with your person? Mm. Yeah, I do. All right, starting with your person, and then I'll take a look at you. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is their energy? What is their current energy towards um, Scorpio and regarding this connection or relationship they have with Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have Four of Cups. Mm. Boy. King of Pentacles is here. The Empress is here. Mm. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I think you were overpowering that reading, Scorpio. The, the connection reading. Wheel of Fortune. The Moon. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I knew it. I should have gone with you first. I don't know. I went against my intuition there for some reason. I, I could feel your energy was more stronger, but I don't know. I decided to go with your person. Let's just look at your energy side by side then. Let me just get another deck here because I don't want to... I want to give the most accurate messages here. So I want to get the full picture. Spirit, show me the energy of Scorpio, please, regarding this person and the connection, please. All right, you have five of cups at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> they have four of cups. <clears throat> the moon, the three of cups, the wheel of fortune, ten of wands, queen of swords, the sun. They also have the moon also. I see. So this is a, like a lack of communication is what's creating conflict here between you two. The absence of communication. I feel like there is stubbornness here. Causing, causing issues. A lot of stubbornness. So I want to hear Fontaine. Hold on, Scorpio. Give me a second. I'm trying to grasp what's going on here. It's hard. You know why it's hard? Because I, there's not a connection. Yeah, that's what's making it hard for me to read this. 
There's no connection between you two. There's no string. There's no string between you and this person. You have a very different energy than, than their energy. Both of you are in like different worlds. And it's almost like both of you are not communicating with each other. So it's like you don't know how they feel. They don't know how you feel. Both of you are, are in the dark with the, with the moon and the moon. And both of you are kind of lost, feeling lost, feeling like you don't know what to feel or what you don't know what to think. You don't know what to make of this relationship. And they feel the same way. They don't know what to think. They don't know what to feel. Four of Cups, King of Wands, Justice, Page of Pentacles. They're like, what do I do? What do I, what do I not do? I mean, it's just very stuck and stagnant energy between you and this person. And I'm not seeing the passion. That's, all, that's something else that's missing. The, the, the passion is missing here. It's very passionless between you and this person. There's no fire. But it's almost like both of you want to, to feel the fire, to feel the passion, you know, both of you want that, but it's like you can't find it or you can't, you can't find it with each other because you, you're just not on the same page with this person and they're not on the same page with you. So it's impossible to create fire here. And both of you are kind of passive, you know? That's the thing, you're in a passive energy and this person is also in a passive energy. No one is really taking any big initiative here. And like, there's no real intense emotion here. I feel like things have become just very um, complacent between you and this person. I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, it's out of my hands, it's out of my control. And I feel like they're in that same energy of it's out of my hands, it's out of my control. Both of you feel like powerless towards this situation. You don't know how to fix it, they don't know how to fix it. And it's just not going anywhere. Let's see if I can clarify the King of Pentacles. See if I can get something out of this. Yeah, I mean, they want to work on things with you with the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> the interest to work on things with you is there. They do want to work, work on things. They do want to get on the same page with you. But... With the moon card, they feel like that's not possible. They feel like you're not available or like you're not accessible or you're not approachable. Tell me about the King of Pentacles spirit. The Knight of Swords and the Emperor. Horrible. Horrible energy. Knight of Swords and the Emperor connected to the King of Pentacles. This is what I said. Like, there's absolutely, absolutely no passion here. I mean, the Emperor is a fire energy. So there is suppressed passion, you know, suppressed desire. There's no passion going outward, outwards.
they do want to communicate with you, but with the emperor, this is someone who doesn't want to look like the weak one. You know, they don't want to, they don't want, they don't want, sorry, they don't want to look weak. And they feel like if they were to reach out to you or make a move towards you, that would make you look at them as a weak person. So they're letting their ego make decisions for them, you know. Their ego is definitely holding them back. What's the moon card here? Yeah, look at that. King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person definitely wants a new beginning with you, Scorpio, with the Ace of Cups. But they're using their mind too much. You see, with the King of Swords, they're thinking too much. They're rationalizing things too much. Mm -hmm. They keep changing their mind about what they want to do. You know, they keep kind of picking picking things apart, picking you apart, being overly critical about everything, not really allowing themselves to, to let their feelings guide them, to let their heart guide them. They do look at you like you're their counterpart, you know, like you're their other half. You know, they do look at you that way with the Empress card. What's holding this person back from Scorpio spirit? Let me take a look at that. Let me just ask. I got this message for for someone. I think it was Virgo. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Hierophant. So this person feels like like you're happier without them. I said this message message for another sign. Pretty sure it was Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, they think um they think you're happier without them. They think you're content without them. Look at this person with the 3 of cups. I see. Interesting. So this person, oh boy. Well, that's a turn. This person wants to keep their options open. Scorpio. Yeah, they do. They have feelings for you. They see you as their their other half. They do actually feel passion for you. Even though it's suppressed, they do feel passion for you. They do they do see you as a stable person and and someone who's genuine and authentic, but it's like they wanna keep their options open regardless with the Three of Cups and the Magician. Mm -hmm. That's what's holding this person back. They're not, they're scared of commitment. They're scared of making things official with you, you know, or, you know, making things making things real with you, having a real commitment, having a real relationship with you. They don't, they, they want to play the field. In reality, this is someone who wants to play the field because they're scared of settling down with someone. They prefer to have their freedom. 
They are obsessed with you though, Scorpio. They're obsessed with you, but they care more about their independence than anything else. All right, well, I'm glad I figured that out. That took me a long time to figure out. I don't know why it was kind of hard to read their energy today. Your energy is a little bit hard too. Let me see if I can figure your energy. The moon, the three of cups. Oh, I see wheel of fortune, queen of swords, the sun. Mm, you might know this person has other options or you might know this person likes to keep their options open. I think you're aware of that. So why are you here with the Queen of Swords energy? Let me see. Why is Scorpio the Queen of Swords? Tell me about the Queen of Swords spirit. Scorpio, I would definitely advise you not to play with, you know, um, I think the phrase is like, don't, like, don't play with fire, something like that, with the Ace of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like I want to say don't play with fire. If that makes any sense at all. Hmm. You know, you two do have a lot of passion for each other. It's just that both of you do a really good job at suppressing it. Yeah, that's what's going on here. It's you, you both of you bury it deep down under the surface where it's barely even detectable. That's why I couldn't even detect it. It's not necessarily that there isn't any passion. It's that it's barely detectable because both of you bury it six feet under the ground, you know? So I want to say like, don't play with fire, Scorpio, with this Ace of Wands energy, because I feel like you're tempted here. I feel like you, you're you tempted, even though you know this person is no good. You know this person is no good, or you know this person is up to no good. You, maybe you know this person is a player. You know this person has other options. And, But I feel like some of you are tempted here. And why is that? Let me see if I can figure that out. Some of you are just kind of operating from a from a place of hurt, being hurt, feeling pain, or feeling, you know, feeling feeling upset or feeling resentment. Because you might feel like this person betrayed you or this person um was a what's it called? Two timer. A two faced or two timer. Some of you are in a little bit of a vindictive energy or spiteful energy, which is what I was picking up in the beginning. As some of you, not all of you, this is general reading. I'm not talking about all of you. Only if it resonates. Tell me about the moon, please. Look at that, yeah. The moon is clarified by the emperor and the fool. Look at that, they also had the uh, the emperor on their side. Both of you are alphas. Both of you are, are presenting yourselves as, as alphas, you know, alpha males. I mean, even if you're a woman, you know, you're, you're harnessing a lot of alpha masculine energy. So there's a little bit of a competitiveness here or power struggle here type of energy. But yeah, it's like I said, with the fool and the emperor and the moon. 
being your energy. You know, some of you are operating from a place of feeling wounded, feeling betrayed, feeling deceived. And some of you might just, you know, you might want to give this person a taste of their own medicine, but sometimes it's not worth it. You know, sometimes it's best to just forget about it, you know, let it go. You know, don't don't feed the monster type of energy. Yeah, what's the three of cups, spirit? Yeah, I think you're having a hard time letting this go, you know, with the world and the and the nine of swords. It's just it's hard. It's hard because you had a lot invested. You invested all a lot of your time and energy. So I feel like the problem is that you want commitment. The Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. You want commitment, you want a happily ever after. And this person is not. They're not making themselves available for that. But yet they might be, you know, seducing you with the Ace of Cups or like love bombing you or like, you know, telling you sweet things and kind of, you know, trying to wrap you up, emotionally wrap you up. So you definitely feel like this person is um, taking advantage of you or taking advantage of your feelings. Um, but, I, but Scorpio, I feel like you're coming up as the Queen of Swords. You're not doing anything, Scorpio. I feel like that's the problem. Like you're not walking away. You're not walking away. I feel like you're not walk you're not walking away when you know you should walk away. I feel like you're holding on longer than than you need to, than you know you should. With the five of wands and the temperance. Some of you want to, you know, you just you want to win. It's like, you know, the emperor doesn't like to lose. The emperor always wants to win. It's like in some way you want to win. Some of you want to make this person be who you want them to be, but you can't really force anyone to be anyone anyone that they're not, you know? You can't force anyone to be someone who they're not. And some of you are like have been trying really hard to to get this person to see that they have a really good thing with you. They have a really really good thing with you and that you're a really good person and that you offer a lot. You bring a lot to the table. Honestly, if this person can't value you, you know, don't don't fight for this person or don't don't waste your time. You shouldn't have to explain your worth to anyone. That's that should be something that this person automatically knows or automatically sees they're blinded to that then it's because they're distracted with you know with other options in their life they're not really being 100% focused on you focused on the relationship with you because if they were then they would they would see your worth All right, Scorpio, I hope this made sense to you. I think I'm going to stop right here. I don't. I feel like you're dealing with a player. I don't see any hope with this person. So I would say, you know, keep being, keep being the, the person that you are, the great person that you are, the emperor and the fool. This is a powerful energy. Like, keep being the, you know, the, the confident. Um, you know, confident, powerful person you are. Hmm. 
yeah, don't don't bring yourself down for anyone. Yeah, because this is like a competition, you know, emperor, the emperor against the emperor. That's that's a competition there for sure. Hmm. All right, so I hope this helped you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.